The husband-wife pop duo Tennis, consisting of Patrick Riley and Elena Moore, just recently announced their fifth album, Swimmer, coming out for Valentine's Day this February. These two have been releasing music together under the name Tennis for nearly a decade now. Full of dreamy soundscapes evoking 60s, 80s pop and surf rock, the music of Tennis has its roots in the glory days of the pop genre while claiming its own unique space within contemporary music. If you're not already, you should be listening to Tennis. Their first album, Cape Dory, came out in 2011 following the couple's sailing trip down the East Atlantic seaboard. The two don't just sail together, but also write much of their music on these trips. One listen to Cape Dory and the ocean's influence on their songwriting is abundantly clear. The lyrics are of course full of nautical terminology. Does the main sheet remind you of me? Moore asks in the opening track, Take Me Somewhere. But even the very sound of the music evokes gently rolling waves. A lot of their songs, especially from their older work, have a kind of warm, fuzzy, low fidelity effect on Elena's voice. It gives their music that vintage pop effect it also makes it feel more surreal feeling, like she's singing to you in a dream and you can't really pin down where her voice is coming from. Tennis have made several more releases in the years since then. 2012's Young and Old and 2014's Ritual and Repeat are just a couple. Origins from the former of these two is a really standout track from their earlier work, and it holds a special place in my heart as a song that first introduced me to the band. The lyrics are kind of haunting. Elena asks, Is it so hard to forgive the way that we have been made to live? It's a devastating song about original sin and her own dwindling faith. Yet she said before that people have come up to her talking about it as one of love and heartbreak. She doesn't mind the difference in interpretation though. She embraces universality in her songwriting and leaves it open for listeners to relate to however they like. Yours Conditionally from 2017 is what I believe to be their greatest album yet. Some of their earlier songs might blend together, but yours conditionally sounds like a confident enunciation of what they really want their sound to be, like they really found their identity in this release. Every track just stands so amazingly unique and special. I really might be biased towards this album though, since they celebrated its release with a merch giveaway that let you earn more entries by streaming the album daily on Spotify. In an effort to win, I seriously listened to it every single day for like a month. I didn't win, but it left this whole album ingrained in my head. Even though we haven't spoken lately, oh. My favorite song off the album is 10 Minutes, 10 Years. Instrumentally, it has a very simple, repetitive rhythm with a bass line that pulls you in from the start and a catchy guitar melody. Like a lot of their music, Patrick's stripped back instrumentation adds more than it takes away. It makes the songs feel more intimate and matches the topic of love that their lyrics often dwell on. Less really is more. Elena makes use of layered vocals in this song, giving it more of that great dreamy texture. Returning to the influence of sailing on their music, it comes up prominently in the song Fields of Blue. When writing the lyrics, Elena actually took a lot of the lines straight out of their sailing log, so the impression of the ocean is really strong here. 
These words are just exactly what she felt when she was looking out at the infinite blue around her. The release of Swimmer in a couple months will be their first album in nearly three years and I can't wait to see how their music has evolved in that time. The small taste of it from the single release Runner has a lot of energy and a lot more aggressive use of electronic synth sounds than much of their past releases, so it's a great pick to give us a hint at where they might be going with their music. I know I'll be looking forward to the Valentine's Day release of the next album. If you weren't before, I hope you'll want to listen to Tennis now. Thanks for watching. This has been You Should Be Listening.